It's Wednesday, a beautiful summer evening. That means <laughs> Scott is barbecuing, and tonight he's with the Colossos in Arondicoid. Hey, Scott. Good evening, guys. You're right. This is like the seventh week in a row of great weather. We are just starting here in Arondicoid. Come on over. You can meet everybody. There they all are. Show them Patrick, the photographer. Hi, everybody. There they are, a couple of them wearing red t-shirts. We're going to explain the Ali Shea project coming up in the newscast. It's very important. Let me show you the food. Oh, that's important too. Jerry the cook. Jerry, you got a nice system here, pal. What's going on? Just spinning, uh, spinning my wheels. All right. Well, we like the way it's turning out so far. It's looking pretty darn good. Let's come back over this way. So uh, we, of course, have our sponsors. Want to thank those kids. We got the Salem dogs on there on the grill. Monroe's gives us really good cookies every week. We thank you. And they got other great food. Northeastern Pool and Spa, Isaac. At the end of the year, we invite all the barbecue peeps back to our place in Rochester. And we do the big thing there. We give away a spa. We have huge fun. And this barbecue, Kevin and Maureen, is very important, not just for your average run-of-the-mill reasons. We're going to talk about why this the barbecue is so special coming up here in just a few minutes. I'm Scott Hetzko, live in Arondicoy for News 8. Yep. Let's check in now with Scott Hetzko. He's live in Arondicoy with the Colazos in the Backyard Barbecue. Hi, Scott. Hi, Scott. Hey, good evening, guys. You know, I alluded to it uh, earlier that this is kind of a special barbecue, and I want to talk to uh, Kim about that. Talk to us about your little, uh, your little girl here. Um, this is a picture of Ali Shea. Ali Shea was born on April 14th, 2009. And at the time that she was born, we didn't know it, but she had what is called brittle bone disease, osteogenesis imperfecta. Um, the doctors didn't expect her to last the weekend, but she was a strong fighter and she lived in the NICU at Strong for five weeks. She was beautiful. She was a very beautiful little girl, very strong little girl. She had multiple fractures from being in utero that had healed, and then she even received some fresh fractures just from the C-section that I had in April. So it's a, it's a scary thing. I mean, obviously, what do, you, what do you tell somebody when that occurs? I mean, you guys took that and really made it a positive. We did. We did. We tried to turn it around um, because Allie was with us for such a short time. We wanted to keep her spirit alive. Um, we have her spirit alive now through her sister, our second daughter, but we wanted to raise awareness to this disease that we had never heard of until then. Well, let's talk to Angela about that a little bit. Angela, tell me about how you guys reacted and what you've done since. Um, like most people who've never heard of the disease, we were like, you know, flabbergasted about like, what, what, what's, what do we do? So a friend of uh, Kim's from high school um, contacted OI Foundation and then we found out they do walks. So we put on a walk within three months after Allie passed away and we did so well that the OI Foundation personally called us and said, you know, you guys did over $10,000. Wow. And I was like, wow. And we were amazed. And um, ever since then, ever since 2009, we always put on a walk for Allie. Um, we do. When is your next walk, by the way? Real quick. The next walk is going to be May. We probably going to do it either the 4th or the 11th of May. We're, we like to do it not against the opening of the Lilac okay. Festival because we get kind of... <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about them, Angelo. Who cares about them, right? Hey, for more information, go to our website, rochesterhomepage.net. You'll find a link to Ali Shea Project. That's the website that you can help out with with this very rare disease. Uh, Kevin and Mo, back to you guys. All right. Thank you, Scotty. From sushi to salsa and a lot of <laughs> burgers and buns. <laughs> Hi, Scott. And all the fixings. <laughs> Maureen's know. always got the best tosses, doesn't she? <laughs> Hey, we're in Arondicoy tonight, the Colazo family home. What are they going to think of next? Check this scene. Look at this cool lawn chair. Ah, as I was told by the owner, it protects you from the rain. To which I said, really? Wow. <laughs> he's over there. He knows I'm only joking. Look at this guy. He's got, he's got the right idea. Burger and dog. How's it going, man? Good. Can't talk right now? You got a face full of food? Okay, so he's done talking. Say hi, everybody. You're enjoying the food. How's everything? So we talked about the Ali Shea project for their little girl who had the uh, brittle bone disease. Everybody here tonight has helped in some way, whether it be family or friends, with those walks that they have organized since then. So big round of applause for all you guys. This barbecue's for you. It's for you, baby. And look what we got for them. Come on. Jerry the Cook, how'd you do, if you don't say so yourself? I ask everyone else. <laughs> how, did, how did Jerry the Cook do? He did wonderful. Are you saying that because he's near you? Yeah, I didn't eat anything yet. Ah, <laughs> there, there's, your, there's your answer right there. But we have good stuff, right? All right, tell me how it is. We got the dogs, the sailing dogs, very nice. So we have more fun from the Big Backyard Barbecue. My name is Scott Hetzko. We're in Arondicoy. 
More news day coming up after this. Well, Scotty's barbecuing tonight. He must have done something because he finds himself at the kids' table right now. Mm. Scotty? Mm. Hey, what are you talking about? This is the place to be, man. We're having a great time here. We are, of course, in a Ronda Coit tonight. And Caleb, we're coming back here at the barbecue. What do you got to say, buddy? More news eight coming up. That a boy. Let's cheer him. Come on. <laughs> Scotty is grilling in a Ronda Coit, and he's with the Colossos, and he joins us live now. Hey, Scott. Hey, you know, Kevin, you and I talk about this in meetings all the time, that babies means ratings. And for that reason, we present young Juliana. How old is Juliana? Eight months old. Eight months. Gorgeous little girl. Thank you. All right. And we're talking about another gorgeous little girl that's not with us tonight, but with us certainly in spirit. And let's talk about Allie, okay? So, so what happened to Allie, and what are you doing now about with your project and your website? Please explain to uh, people that might have just been tuning in. Sure. Um, our daughter, Allie Shea, was born with osteogenesis imperfecta, otherwise known as OI, which is brittle bone disease. Right. Um, it's a genetic disease, but neither my husband or myself was a carrier of it. Um, so Allie's was just a freak mutation that happened. Um, she was born in April of 2009, and she lived for five weeks. Um, she was a strong fighter, but she did have multiple fractures, and right. her bones were very, very brittle. So. so now the family, in honor of Allie, has been doing walks for the last three years plus, gaining a lot of money uh, for the charity, and they send it right to the main charity. If you're interested in helping them out, we ask you to go to our website, rochesterhomepage.net, and then click on uh, the web links, and you'll find... AllieShayProject.org. Isn't that right, Kim? That is correct. AllieShayProject.org. On another topic, how's the barbecue going? It's very good. Everything what do you think, people? Give me some sound. <laughs> we'll be right back with more barbecue fun in the 6 o'clock show. Uh, thank you, Scott. Jason. Yep. It's a great night for grilling. Scotty's live in Arondequoit with the aftermath of the big meal. I hope it was a good one, Scotty. <laughs> yeah. Another success, Maureen. Thank you very much. We're here at the uh, Colosso residence and here talking to Angelo. So, Angelo, we didn't really talk about it at five, but why did you enter the contest? Um, I entered the contest to thank all of our family and friends who volunteered for us for the, uh, the walk. They've been with us for the last four, uh, well, four years, and um, they put in a lot of time and effort. And like I said, um, we don't have that much of a budget. Our budget is whatever's in the bank account. So there's no way we could really thank them. I mean, they really, really step up and help us with everything, and they just give as much time as they can. And we now, how many? Uh, sorry, how many? How many bucks do you guys uh, have you raised so far since you've become an organization? And, and you, where do you send it? Uh, we raised a little over thirty thousand dollars, and we sent it to the OI Foundation, which is um, homed in Gaithersburg, uh, Maryland. And 100 percent of the money that we raise goes directly to them. Okay, so this is really just about raising awareness of this very rare but serious uh, disease that happens in utero often, correct? Yep, um, usually it's a, it's a genetic disorder, but with Allie's case, it was just a, a freak mutation. And when we got the um, blood test back from her, genetic test back from her, they said it was the second reported case ever in the world of this type of mutation happening. Wow, no kidding. Yeah. But uh, there's, there's brighter news, though. You also, uh, since that time, have had a brand new baby girl. Yep, we have Ella Joy, and um, she's healthy. Um, they told us that it was going to be a uh, one to two percent chance that she might have a Y, but we were thinking, well, it was one to two percent chance with Allie, so <laughs> we were nervous until we saw her born. Did you know that she had a genetic inkling to ice? She loves ice. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she loves ice. She's been going back and forth to that cooler, man, for the last hour, just grabbing her ice and coming back. For more information on uh, Allie Shea's project, go to our website, rochesterhomepage.net. Go on the web links, and you'll find it there. Great family. Thank you all very much. All right. We send it back to you guys. A successful barbecue mm -hmm. for all.